Hi and welcome to a very special edition of uh, Book of Jake. I'm actually recording this at uh, Body Factory oh. Gym. And you can see the, the real gym oh. workout is happening. That's Dr. Dimitri. I'm yeah. here with uh, a legend bodybuilder. This is uh, Kumar Raisin, who was the overall champion champion of champions last year right, for Mr. Malaysia. Uh, this is where the physique speaks for itself. Kumar is a good friend, uh, also an inspiration to me. And it's won the Mr. Malaysia how many times? Uh, twice the senior, once the junior. Asia? Asia is not Heaven, but he's, world, he, got, second. he got second place in the world and plus he's competing. So it's amazing physique, uh, incredible, incredible discipline. He's also an accountant, believe it or not. So uh, before we start, uh, please subscribe, please like and, and also help me out with the channel, right? Okay, so going to get quick into it. We are, we are talking about fitness and you're a, sort of like a professional bodybuilder. This is your bread and butter in your life. Yeah, yeah. That's that's that. Okay, so okay. but... I'm the average Joe who's, I'm almost 60 and and, and, <laughs> and still keeping up with fitness. Now, if somebody who wants to get into fitness, Kuma, yeah. um, I, I, wanna, I want you to give me five tips. But before that, a very quick intro about you and how do you get into bodybuilding. I knew, I, apparently you, you were overweight and I remember you telling me. Yes, yes, yes. yes. I, was in, I, was in, I was in office as a kid. Okay. Uh, so when I was 16, I, I, okay, I had this fascination towards bodybuilding and having a good physique right from... Probably five or six years old. But I never did anything to, about it because I didn't know how to go about it. Okay. So as I was into sports and everything, but I never watched my diet. And I'm a big eater. I got a big appetite, so I love to eat. And what happened was I became very fat by the age of 15, or 16, and then I decided no, I have to. What was fat? Oh, oh, I was about okay, 16. I was about 110 with the waistline. Of with the waistline of 44. <laughs> <laughs> Form 4, you know. Okay, so then I just started, but I did a lot of wrong things then, as in like, wrong, as in not wrong, but could be better. I totally cut rice, which I never do now, and I did a lot of extreme things, but it's still a change of lifestyle from what I used it's, to do. It's set, it's set the, the basic discipline yes. where you are now. And I was consistent, I trained every day. Okay, I did a lot of skipping, squats, I, did, I didn't go to the gym, but my mother bought me a Set set, yeah. okay. So I had some dumbbells, barbells and bench. I started exercising, I did legs and everything. I did a lot of skipping and everything. So I dropped up to 78 kilos in six months. Okay. So if you That's could give it us, great. And, and and if you could give somebody who is just getting into the gym, wants to lose weight, not yeah. you know, it's not bodybuilding, but fitness. You know, people yeah. misunderstand that bodybuilders actually train for one peak or two peaks in the year. Yeah, you know. But if I want to get into fitness and I knew, and there's so much misinformation, like you said, don't eat rice, eat rice. This yeah. What are the top five things you give an average to? Mm, the most important thing is get yourself into the gym. Don't feel intimidated. Okay. There's nothing to feel intimidated. It's like learning how to drive a car. Okay, When you just see someone, if you, if you first look at a car, when you look at the highway, you're going to say, like, oh, it's so difficult to get into the car and drive, and you'll never drive that. You just have to start, right? Okay. Yes. Within two, three weeks, you start. You get it, yeah. Exactly the same with the gym. So you, just come, the gym. Okay. you just come to the gym and start exploring the gym. I mean, don't be afraid. Ask people. There are a lot of people here. It's gone the days where people used to be afraid that they keep the knowledge to themselves and all that. Today, everybody shares their knowledge. And nothing is right. Nothing is the exact, what you say. This is the exact way to do it. Everybody learns from mistakes. I'm still learning. I'm a coach. Everybody will learn. You know, so it's a process and you'll keep learning. So, so one learn is, is get to the gym. Yes. No excuses. Yeah. Two. Two is the food. Mm. You have to start right away. Mm. Just be mindful. Start watching what you eat every day. Mm. That means you don't have to go into extreme counting calories. This, that. That's all too complicated. Okay. The easy thing is you stick to just three solid meals a day. Eliminate certain things in food. Like eliminate deep fried things and then eliminate unnecessary sugar. Mm. Okay. And be mindful. Salt. Salt is very important. Wherever, you see, what our body requires only 5 grams of salt a day. But when we go to a mama shop or anything, and eat, they probably serve you about 10 grams of salt in one serving. Okay. So you hold water. Yeah. Yeah, hold water and it's also very bad for pressure on in the long run. It's a okay. lot of damages to your body. So the thing is, you be you control everything. So you go by portions. Okay. Uh, you try to have portion control and eat sensibly. Yes. Okay. So uh, third one. Third one. Uh, third one is like you have to... My, my thing is, okay, you go to the gym, you got anything, I believe it's 21 days. Like anything you want to uh, start making. Uh, yes. 
you want to see changes keep yourself 21 days don't expect things to change overnight i'm not telling the 21 days you will see changes but what you become, become like, i can't become like you in 21 days just, <laughs> <laughs> the thing you will see it. in 21 days is you will be able to slowly adapt that and make that your lifestyle okay yeah, okay. after 21 days you will just try to do this try to hit the gym four times a week try to make sure you control your food for three weeks eh? three weeks is three weeks you'll you do it by the fourth week you will no longer notice that uh, i realized that uh, this is actually a burden it comes to you naturally okay that's good so so consistency is key yes okay. consistency and give it i mean when you think back and see and don't expect things to change the fourth thing is don't expect things to change overnight you gain something let's say normally people don't gain weight within two days or three days or four days or even two three weeks i mean you get whatever you gain in two three weeks you can lose it so but what you gain over six months or 12 uh, 12 months or mm. two years or three years mm. don't expect to lose this within eight weeks or six weeks if you do lose that that's something very temporary that means you've done something very drastic and you i'm not certain that everybody but most people won't be able to sustain it so if you want to sustain something think about losing a kilo a week something where you can keep it as a lifestyle don't just go for something only fast money today's world everybody wants everything fast right very good point yeah. very so good point so anything think about committing it to a lifestyle okay. yes so there are a lot of, uh, fourth one i i think this is personal to me so it's a lot of misinformation about supplementation and and what you should take and big changes and all that so for for beginner what do you think should you you should top three things that you should take for for you know getting into the gym get life Uh, the word supplement itself it already means it's already stated that it's supplementary mm. so the thing mm. is primary here is your food mm. okay you can if you only resort to supplements when your primary is all 100% you do that okay so you make sure your protein intake you're getting let's say for example like the standard thing is 1 gram per pound mm. for a body so let's say if around 70 kilos you're about 160 pounds 156 pounds mm. you only need 160 pounds uh, 160 grams, grams of protein, protein a day but sometimes due to our lifestyle and this and that we only get get 120 to 130 grams of protein mm. so then you can have one scoop of protein there's no harm in it mm. or even sometimes you're training very hard you can go to 1.5 grams of protein a day so why the why the importance of protein as the major macro for for this lifestyle because at the end of the day you want to build i mean like if your goal is building muscles and you thought to lose fat where you slowly switch from carbs you resort more to protein okay, okay but i come back to this thing now that supplements what i would suggest is you stick to just taking multivitamins fish oil and if you want some protein okay. but what the gain what i said food is most essential so if food is taken care then comes supplements good segue into the last question i'm going to yeah. ask you which is diet there's so many diets there's mm-hmm. keto there's 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 uh, carnivore there's uh, paleo there's uh, atkins there's yeah. zero carbs there's this that intermittent fasting, intermittent fasting which, which i subscribe a lot because mm-hmm. I, i like to eat at night so you know daytime so but what are your thoughts on on the okay. most appropriate diet I, i i know the question answer to this but i'd like to hear the pro say this. i i am okay for me i basically don't practice intermittent fasting because i have to eat this many meals a day and this and that but what i would say for someone who's coming or is having difficulties keeping a lifestyle intermittent fasting is advisable because it's a kind of self disciplining where you keep yourself you only limit yourself that this hours you give a window that you can eat it's like basically when someone goes to ramadan and they fast and like that you know but what you shouldn't do is when you get that that four hours you don't indulge so you Mm-hmm. make sure you eat sensibly only, yeah sensibly what the certain calories that you require that's it so you set like a like a self discipline like that you just shut off everything and you go eventually gradually this is good to start off eventually as you go here uh, when your time passes by and all that you will slowly understand your body and then when you start understanding your body you will form a diet you can form mm-hmm. your own diet where you will have every body type is different right mm-hmm. so you will know which macros works best for you which kind of carbs works best for you and then you keep something where most important thing is to sustain sustainable diet is the yeah. most important thing it's not about having Short something very dry, okay some can give you very good results but if you cannot sustain that it defeats the purpose as well. yeah because Correct. i know when you drop carbs in three days you'll drop yeah. three kilos but it's water you drink water so yeah. a lot of yeah. people get this illusion so that's great points great five points uh by the way kumar's gym is in kalana jaya yes yeah, it's, it's called sweet. body factory gym just walk in at 12 ringgit and it's really cheap membership you come it's what i like about the gym is 24 hours and it's beginning the ramadan 
can train any time of the day. Usually, I come at about four o'clock and five o'clock in the morning. So, any any parting thoughts and and you know, for for you know fitness people and and your you know your insights you can give them. Um, fitness today, I would say, please make it a lifestyle. That means like if you want to commit, you try to commit like on. Uh, you like brushing your teeth. Yeah. yeah, make it like it's a part of your life. Like that. don't every time just what make it seasonal. You know, where you big beginning of the year you come into it and then you go away and. Get, you, everybody today says that the greatest everybody is going up to wealth right but the greatest wealth that you can have is health, health yes. so fitness is part of the most people don't do it until they lose it right yeah that's actually <laughs> yeah I mean we don't see the importance of it until we lose it right so 20s 30s whatever, 40s 60s there was an uncle here just on training at 79 79 years yeah. old I was shocked Mr. Chia you know yeah. it's just amazing so yeah, this this really great insight. And uh, are you going to compete this year? Yeah, I'll definitely be competing. But uh, say it's more towards the end of the year. Now I'm just uh, <laughs> resting phase. <laughs> would you would you uh, double bicep for the for the? For yeah, the I think I need the most of you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> <Massive>. <laughs> so again, guys, uh, please subscribe Book of Jake and uh, buy the book at www.bookofjake.my. Uh, and please come to the gym. I'll see you next week. Thanks. Thank you.